you have to bear with us. We're all from Melbourne. We've been locked down for two weeks. It's our first time out into our amazing store, playing with products and seeing people. So we might, we'll try and stay on track for you. Um, the main purpose of tonight is to talk you through the different methods of sterilising, the pros and cons, and to give you a clear picture to ensure that you can uh, choose the right product for you, your family, and your lifestyle. I'm Kim, mother of two. Some people may say three if you count my puppy, others may not. Um, and have specialised experience in the feeding and baby care range within Baby Martin for nearly 10 years now. I'm joined tonight by Mark, a friend and colleague and expert in our UV sterilising range and more particularly the 59S. On a side note, I believe he's also generously donating a prize giveaway today, uh, which he can detail later on towards the end of the episode. So pay attention to him. Um, before we get started, I've just got a little bit of um, housekeeping. Uh, at one point, if you have any questions, please do so in your comments box. Um, and we'll answer as many as we can towards the end, time permitting. And the other point is, as a friendly disclaimer to me, not so much Mark, but I am not medically trained. So anything um, that we discuss tonight really comes from uh, research that I've done, which you could probably do online also, um, my suppliers, suppliers research, and my own personal experience of parenting. What is widely known um, is that babies up to 12 months have very delicate and weak to immature and or developing immune systems. So they aren't strong enough to fight off a range of infections or sicknesses. And one important way we as parents or caregivers can support them to stay healthy is to try and reduce the chance of getting sick. And that's why I believe the medical professionals recommend always sterilizing baby feeding equipment before use, or at least that comes into oral uh, with babies. Um, Whether you choose a glass, a plastic or silicon latex feeding product, they will still all need to be sterilised to protect baby's immune system. There's four ways to sterilise. There's boiling, chemical or liquid, sterilising, steam and electric. Now, all of them require a pre-washing scenario or part of the process. Um, most products will give some sort of um, instruction manual which will tell you to do it in warm or soapy water. Um, bottles and teats, particularly with a brush. The idea is to get out all those milky deposits. So um, one of our most popular products is this um, pigeon liquid cleanser because you can squirt that directly onto the brush and get right into those crevices, um, including the teats actually. So a teat brush is always a necessity as well. And lots aren't as funky as this guy here. Some look, look like a normal brush but have a teeth component to it. So make sure if you're picking your cleaning product, you um, ensure that you have one that will, will do your teeth as well. Um, something like that will cost around $20, um, full RRP, but it also comes with a refill pack slightly cheaper. The next stage is boiling. Now these are ones that you're probably all really aware of. They've been around quite traditional. Um, it's certainly not difficult. Yes, this is a pop from my house. <laughs> we quickly cleaned it more so when we got here to make it look sterile. Um, it, it requires filling all, all of the products with water. We haven't done that tonight. Submerging, getting the water out, the air bubbles out, then bringing the water up to a boiling temperature and boiling for five minutes. Then it requires cooling because obviously it's full of boiling water. So although it's extremely um, cost effective, <laughs> it basically costs you nothing but water. Um, it is really quite time consuming. So I timed this today, it took me 18 minutes to get that, boil, that up to boiling. So overall the whole process was a 38 minute cycle. Now 15 of that was cool down. You don't need to be present for the cool down, but you have to be attending this pot throughout that process at the start. Now I set timers on my phone today to remember, um, but trust me, I've gone through three sets of bottles when my kids were little that I completely melted into the bottom of the pot in my window of opportunity between <laughs> sleeps. So I fell asleep and the whole house filled with black smoke. Oh, it was awful. So just be aware, this is an attend, watch and be careful. The next part is um, a chemical or liquid syrup. Again, it's been around for a million years. Slight exaggeration. Um, this tub here, yeah, again from my kitchen, so don't look too closely. Um, it is a four litre tub. 
Most of the products we have are a Milton brand, which you can do tablets or a liquid, use four litres as a guide, um, which is basically a couple of bottles, some accessories, maybe some breastfeeding products will fit in there, because that's another one of that. Depending on your pot size, you cannot, you're limited to what you can sterilise in any one cycle. Um, pros of this, I guess, is that um, setup time is super fast. You can set it up for 24 hours and it, the liquid remains sterile, so you can swap out some products throughout the day um, and it will keep sterilising. It has a 15 minute sterilising cycle. Um, most products will recommend you don't leave any longer than that as it may weaken some of the composition of products. Um, great for camping, power blackouts as we've just had here in Melbourne. Um, I guess one of the downfalls is the chemical smell. It does smell quite um, clean, if that's a word I can use. <laughs> a little bit bleachy. Um, it, is, it has a strong clean odour. Um, but it is cost effective. So, And you can clean large items. I also remember using this and filling the baby bathtub for large items like teething. Um, about nine dollars for either of these. Uh, they basically have the same outcome. So um, again, cost effective and kind of good to have as a backup plan. Next, we're going to steam sterilising. So there's a couple of options here. Um, we've got microwave container. Now most brands will be very similar. They're just a specialised container, microwave friendly, and generally will have some kind of insert. Um, again, it's easy to clean in the base. This one is our Pigeon brand um, product. It's kind of cool. It is very popular, and I'd say it's because see these circles here? They actually hold the bottles in place, um, which is really handy to make sure that you're getting that steam right up into the bottles so they're not flipping around. Most brands will fit um, five to six bottles. This fits five. Keep in mind if you're doing other products as well, you have to remove the bottles or give or take. Uh, there's no descaling routine in this. Um, you do need a microwave, <laughs> kind of important for a microwave sterilizer. Um, you do need to store it somewhere. Um, my suggestion would be in the microwave while you're not using it, so it's not on your bench top or in your cupboard. Uh, this one, um, you do need to add water before you put it in the microwave. So um, this one is 100 mils. It's a seven minute cycle, but a five minute cool down cycle. So a total of 12 minutes for this guy. Um, now the cool thing about this guy is that you can leave him too dry. Um, as long as you don't open it, he will remain sterile for 20, up to 24 hours. Um, he, oh, and he costs around $44.95 um, when he's at full car, I think. Now an alternative to this guy is these guys. So these are um, a microwave bag, sterilizing bag. So as you can see, quite compact, light, great for the nappy maybe plan C, <laughs> I've already done plan B, um, for on the go travel. Um, you do need 60 ml of water, again a microwave um, or power. Um, it does 20 uses per bag. You can cross off the uses as you go, but as I worked out today, keep a sharpie close by because a normal pen doesn't write on this bag. <laughs> um, it does, it, it sterilizes fine. Um, the problem I found today is that it just, you would have to organise your cycles. So either do all your soothers, a bottle, your breastfeeding kit. Um, you can't really do, you can't fit as much as the other guys in this guy, but uh, that's why it's convenient. Um, for a pack of five, this Medela pack is $26.95. Most other brands do about five, five or six pack, um, and they're anywhere around that 20 to, to um, that's probably it for him. And then we move on to the electric steam. So still steam, still sitting in this category here. Uh, but what, I, what the, this is our Tommy Tippy one. He's our most popular. He has two drying racks. So you can fit the bottles in the base and the teats or soothers in the top. You do need to add water into the base. Now the cool thing about this system, Tommy Tippy is thought through, and I don't know if you can see this, but on all their bottles they have a fill line, which is a little 
throw a dot dots at that 80 mil. Can you see that? Um, to fill with water. So you just pour that in. These are great for measuring cups too as you're, as you're filling with water following the instruction. Um, so that you would pour, pour your water in, pop, fill your, your unit back up, and then all you need to do for that guy is push the on button. He will automatically switch off when he's done his cycle. Um, the only thing of note, although all of these will fit most different brands, what I did notice is this guy doesn't like tall bottles in the bottom. Not the first time people don't like tall things. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you can still do a cycle without this wrap. Um, you just need to organise yourself. Um, and then, yeah, and so a cycle time took about 10 minutes. Um, it still does need a cool down time of 5 minutes, so 15 minutes in total. Um, and this costs on his own $149, um, but generally he sells as a pack. You can buy singularly the white unit, which looks like that, or you can, that black one there is a part of a pack that looks like this, where all your essentials are thought about. So I guess that's pretty much all I have for you on sterilising that. From here back, all of these items use some kind of water within their method um, and therefore need drying um, before they're officially sterile. So the next part, I guess, is the, the drying part, which leads on to this guy here. So to start with, before you undo all your work, whichever method you've chosen, just make sure that you're working in a sterile environment. So you can either wipe down your surface, um, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before touch anything. My recommendation is to use something like the liquid cleanser on your rack and accessories so that all your beautiful sterile, sterile items are then placed and still sterile. After which, once they are dry, you'll need to store them in a, in a airtight container, some description. Um, you just need to make sure that that is dry, uh, out of direct sunlight and away from heat source. Um, Talking about the drying process though, I guess this is a great segue to move over to my friend Mark, he's patiently waiting here. Because um, I am thinking, Mark, that the cabinet doesn't require that drying process, is that right? Yes, can you assure us? And, uh, and thank you, and uh, hello to everybody. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm Mark, and I'll be talking about the 59S uh, range of products today. And, and just to your point, Kim, uh, a great segue. I think before we go into to the drying or to the sterilizing, uh, just to reiterate one of Kim's points, it is important to remember the difference between cleaning and sterilizing. All your baby products will always need to be cleaned prior to being sterilized. It's always a two-step process. So whether you're using any of the uh, steam or heat or boiling techniques that you see above or the UV uh, products that I'm about to show you, clean first and then sterilize. So I'm gonna talk you through a little bit of the LED uh, UVC technology and how that works but certainly just want to make that distinction. So uh, we'll start with the cabinet. And yes, uh, what's great about the uh, 59S cabinet is there's been a fundamental shift. I do want to emphasize that UVC technology has been around since the 1930s. 59S has not discovered or invented this technology. What this company did was found a very effective and efficient way to utilize it in consumer products. So what does that mean? If you look carefully, you will notice that inside our product, we have 38, uh, 48, sorry, LED beads all around the sides and on the top and reflecting off the base of the sterilizing cabinet. What that means is when you place items that have been cleaned into your sterilizing cabinet and close the lid, starting a sterilization cycle is as simple as pushing one button. Our sterilizing cabinet will run a sterilization cycle which runs three minutes and at the end of that you'll see it counts down on the top. It's as simple as opening the cabinet and retrieving your product and it's ready to use. There are no chemicals, there is no heat and there is no steam used when using LED technology. So no drying. So <laughs> no drying. So what's great about this unit Kim and I'm glad you emphasized that is if the products are dry when you place them in, you can absolutely just run a three minute sterilization cycle. 
I do want to say that if it is damp when you place it into the unit, we do have a full function feature, which runs a sterilization cycle, you'll see it here, and then goes into an automated drying uh, process. Pretty cool. What it then does is it creates heat inside of the cabinet, and that causes the water or liquid to evaporate, and then runs a drying cycle and moves it straight into sterile storage. I do want to say when you're asking the machine to do the drying, that that drying cycle runs from 45 minutes to an hour, and it will automatically detect if there's still moisture. Wow. So if there's still moisture within the cabinet, it will rerun that cycle. I do want to say though, unlike other products, you don't have to wait until the end of that drying cycle. If your baby wakes and you need to retrieve any of the items, you can still open it after the three minute sterilization cycle and take out one of your products to give to your baby. I wouldn't re recommend touching it once you've taken it out, but <laughs> not suggested. So I thought it might be a good opportunity for me to talk a little bit about how uh, LED and how UVC technology works. I think for most of us parents, and I'm a parent of four, the natural question goes to how does it work if there's no chemicals and there's no steam and heat? And uh, without getting too scientific, what effectively happens is they create light waves. The LED beads create light waves at a certain spectrum, 265 uh, nanometers. And what that does is it penetrates the wall of any uh, DNA or RNA of viruses and bacteria, rendering it dead. So what this means is at a, at a very, very simple level, it is as neutralized as it can be. What's great about LED technology is we know that this is used in healthcare and in aerospace it's been used for, 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 for almost 70 years in, in meat, in, in uh, water purification. So we know that the technology is very, very effective against viruses and bacteria. So a wonderful product to keep in the cabinet, uh, sorry, on your counter in the kitchen. It comes in two colors, in both blue and in pink. Uh, it's a fully functional uh, multi-purpose cabinet. And what a lot of people don't know is that because it actually is using light, not chemicals and steam, you can use it on other products as well. So things like heat, a mobile phone. All things uh, that come in baby's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> working, yes. Whatever keeps them amused, right? <laughs> yes, teethers, small toys. Uh, my daughters at the moment have a little buddies and teddy, so we will pop in there frequently just to sterilize and make sure- Oh, like soft are, toys. Soft toys, wow. absolutely. So a really versatile multi-purpose cabinet that can sit on your bench that you can use even after you've finished sterilizing baby's bottles. Uh, so moving on, I wanted to talk about it. One of the concept, one of the brand ideas for Thrifty 9S was to make sterilizing as easy as washing your hands. And you talked uh, quite well about some of the different uses of boiling and, and uh, portable solutions like the chemicals. What you see over here is a sterilizing in a travel bag option. And what this means is our travel bags are powered you'll see by a little USB power bank that sits in the back that comes with the, with the bag. You simply charge that up before you leave home. And I'll open up the zip so you can see it. And you place a bottle or any of your other items inside. Oh, you can see the little light glitch. You can see the little LED beads. There's nine of them in this particular version. We always recommend that you stand your product up, uh, sorry, your bottles or your teethers or your teats or your pacifiers up in the unit. You zip it closed to ensure that you're not exposed to the LED light. You press the button on the front and then by repressing it, you will see it starts to flash. This bag will then run a three minute sterilization cycle at, with, after which you can open up the zip and take out whatever is inside and all the contents are completely sterilized. So just a wonderful product for when you're traveling, uh, going away for a weekend, a night away, or when somebody else is helping to provide primary care, that you want to make sure those products are sterilized. Again, great for taking on holidays. At the moment, certainly Victorians, we're not traveling all that much. <laughs> but <laughs> once, we, once we do get access to the world, a wonderful product for getting out and about. Similarly, so this product re re recommended retail installs is about $119. Uh, and it does come with a power bank. You'll see just to, to, to recover, it runs for about three minutes and on a single charge of the power bank, we'll do 33 minute sterilization cycles. So you can actually run the sterilization cycles through 30 times on that battery. 
The mummy bag which we also have in store is a very similar design style and I'll open up the top just so you can have a look again. Slightly wider oh, yeah. but also has what we call 360 sterilization, so sterilization beads in the side. What makes this product very different to the uh, travel bag is it also has an additional storage compartment at the bottom. So this is a wonderful product for mums returning to work who maybe want to express through the days and take that express breast milk home. Uh, it also has a compartment in the bottom which you can carry lunch, fruits if you have a toddler. So just that additional storage space and convenience that the parents often need. And of course the great part is because there's no radiation and no chemicals and no heat, it in no way impacts whether you have fruits or drinks or anything else in the base. So it's just a far more versatile bag uh, which comes with a carry strap and it's available also in pink and in blue. Recommended retail price for this in store is 168. One of my favorite little products is this guy and we call this the Pacipod, which is effectively a little pod for pacifiers. So for all those mums and dads out there who are Suders used to dummies. Suders, dummies, <laughs> any of those names, yeah. absolutely. Who are used to carrying 10 or 12 sterilized dummies with them and every time one drops on the floor uh, you have to discard that or take it home and sterilize it. How this works is you simply rinse off, let's imagine a dummy drops onto the ground. You simply rinse it off to remove any dirt, place it inside the passive pod and press the button. You'll see the red light illuminate that says that it's active and by pressing it again it will run a one minute sterilization cycle. And after that, perfectly safe to take out and give back to Bella. So this unit is actually powered by three AA batteries that sit under the lid or by a small USB cable. So if you're somewhere and you do run out of batteries or if you're on an airplane or in the car and you want to sterilize, you simply plug it into a USB port and connect it to the side. So how long the cycle was that one again? So this one runs for only one minute. Wow. So all of our other units all run for three minutes. This one is shorter. The reason for that, it is, has four LED beads, so a very high concentration at a very, very close contact point. As mm -hmm. you can see, very, very close. So one minute is sufficient uh, for the sterilization of that. So great little product to put onto your stroller, to connect to your nappy bag and to take with you every time you're out and about. Very, very simple and versatile and easy to use. And recommended retail for the Passy Pod is $49.95. Last but not least, within our range, I'm going to place on my safety glasses, is our UV sterilizing wand. Just so you know, the trendy glasses do come in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Only and, one pair. <laughs> and it's recommended for any of those people who feel the need to shine light into their eyes. We don't recommend it, and the warnings are on the wand. So let me tell you why this is such a great product. Uh, you know, being, being a parent of four again and being, you know, frequently going out to shopping malls and working to change tables, mats, car ch chairs, strollers, the ability to be able to clean and sterilize those is not easy. So how the wand works is you simply open it up, you'll see it has 20 LED beads. It's not on at the moment, so it's safe for everyone to have a look. <laughs> it also has a child lock on the side, which we can activate, which you'll see there, activate. And the last safety feature is if when it's turned on, you rotate it through 60 degrees, it will automatically turn off to avoid contact with the eyes. We do always recommend not to obviously try and make a contact with the eyes or with the skin. And how it works is by simply double pressing, you will see the LED blue lights shining over the surface and disinfecting. The recommended sterilization time for any surface is 10 seconds from about one to two centimeters above that surface. This is ideal for change mats, uh, surfaces, keyboards, kitchen counter areas, and again, emphasizing that it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. In fact, more, for, more sterilization capability than any known source, which is why I love the LED UVC so much. So in summary, we really have introduced and into our partnership with Baby Bunting a range of products that are completely versatile and that you can use anywhere from your bench top in the kitchen or at home 
to anywhere while out and about. I do want to say for us, the, the development of these products was never about avoiding any contact with germs. I often get asked this question 10 years ago, oh, do we want our kids to never be exposed to any germs? Mm. And that is not the point. What we want to do is make sure that certain germs our kids stay away from. Mm. And if there's a way we can avoid those, that's better for all of us. Sure. It's making sure that you know the normal things, the normal experience that kids are going to have on a day-to-day -day basis, they're, they're exposed to that. Mm. So in summary, uh, it, very, very short cycles, anywhere from one minute in the fancy pod to three minutes across most of the rest of our range. All of these are available in store and does kill 99.9% of and viruses online. and bacteria. Absolutely um, online. online. <laughs> and online, of course online. Yeah. Um, and just, uh, thank you, Mark. Um, also, a big thank you to Mark. See this packed bundle here, what we've got here. This is for one lucky person tonight. Um, all you have to do to be in the running is to um, add into your comments box what your favourite features or benefits of this 59S range are. And um, one lucky person will be um, receiving this amazing pack, which is nearly $450 worth of um, value here at recommended retail pricing. Um, so again, it's just your favourite features of the 59S range in the comments box. Um, it, are there any questions? There are lots of questions. Oh, are there? <laughs> Hopefully they're technical. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first one being, how many bottles does the steriliser fit? Yeah, fantastic. That's a great question and I'll try and show... It will depend on the brand and the shape of the bottle. Correct, Kim. You're 100% correct. So typically anywhere from two to four uh, bottles, you'll see that's a quite a tall and very wide one. Tommy Tippy, you could probably get three of those uh, along with some accessories. Great. Uh, so yes. You can see that three, three to four, depending on the bottles and the accessories. I do want to highlight something, and this is very important. One of the main reasons uh, there's such a big emphasis on doing more bottles and more products in the traditional terms is because the times take so long, as Kim mentioned, anywhere from 15 to 20 to 30 minutes. What's great about the 59S products, it is very, very low in uh, low wattage, so only eight volts, it uses very little power, and only runs for three minutes. So as, an in, as opposed to doing eight bottles and having to do a very long wash and clean and sterilization cycle, it's very, very short and specific. So when we had this with our children, it would sit on the counter, I could make a cup of tea while I was sterilizing two bottles, and the bottles would be ready to go when we're finished. So, is smaller, absolutely, but it's because we don't need to do eight to 10 at a time. And how do you know that the products have finished their cycle? Wonderful, that's another great question. So with all the 59 S's and the cabinet, you will actually see the countdown timer starting. So you will actually see that one has an LED indicator on the lid, the 180 seconds or three minutes that it takes. And for the remainder of our uh, products, you will actually see the illuminated 59S button flashing. And when that stops flashing and goes back into just an on position, or let me just simulate it stopping, it's then reached a point where it's now ready and in standby, and it's ready to do another, run another sterilization cycle. Is the wand the only product with a child lock on it? Yes, it is. It's correct, it is. So um, this one, because of its usage and the risk, it's the only one with a child lock. Our other products are all designed that when they open, they do not function and they cease functioning. So not required to have a lock because if a child was to open it, there's no risk of exposure. We had to create um, a safety lock on this one because obviously even for a small child, it's accessible, which is why we had the additional lock put in. With the bag, if it's powered on, the minute you open the bag, it has a built-in safety lock that it will switch off. So it won't continue to run once it's open. Therefore, making the exposure for little ones less of a concern. How many uses will you get with the pacifier steriliser before it needs recharging? All right. Um, so the pacifier steriliser um, is not designed for recharging. So as you can see, it has three AA batteries in the lid. That will run anywhere between 15 and 25 
one minute sterilization cycles depending on the batteries. We all know that there's different quality of batteries. So obviously the less expensive batteries will run fewer cycles uh, and the more expensive batteries will run more cycles. Do remember though that it comes with a USB cable. So it's an either or option, not a recharge. So the cable option. doesn't charge it, the cable powers it. Correct, right? yes, yeah. absolutely. So this one is designed for on the go, cheap and cheerful, easy access. Yeah. So if you were out and about, you could connect it to a power bank, your computer, a uh, charger in your car, or on an airplane, anywhere where you have access to USB power and run a quick sterilization. Save site. your batteries for when you yeah, need to. Yeah, for when you need to, yeah. correct. Yeah. Is the UV certified and tested? Absolutely. It's very important to note that for any product like this to become available globally, it has to meet not only an Australian standard, but an international testing standard. And all of our products are certified. So they run through labs and clinically tested and approved. So you will notice on all of our products, it has the certifications listed on the back and they're available from us. And, and I would throw in there that um Although Baby Bunting follow all those standards, we have our own as well. <laughs> and so if they can pass global standards, Australian standards, generally they'll also need to pass Baby Bunting standards, which we know our end consumer is very small and, and delicate, and we ensure that those, those standards are absolutely follow ours, including all of theirs. At what age should parents stop sterilising bottles? I think, Kim, you yeah. touched on that earlier, didn't they, you? Well, online, I, like, again, not a medical professional, but it does say up to 12 months for their immune system, um, their developing immune system to come into its own. As a parent, I know I was in such a routine, whilst they were bottle feeding or having a bottle, I just continued the process. So, um, uh, do you have more? Yeah, I think uh, the World Health Organization and Breastfeeding Australia certainly suggest for the first 12 months, and even being cautious even beyond that, I think it's, uh, I would steer away from giving that advice in this forum, only because there are some children who are immunodeficient. Mm. There, there are a vast amount of conditions. A great example is the pandemic we're facing right now. Mm. Uh, you know, we, we know that, that people are giving different medical health advice mm. based on the circumstances. So certainly if you go to the website, if you were looking for that information, I'd suggest uh, Breastfeeding Australia or the World Health Organization have mm. some great guidelines around sterilization and what they recommend. Can you sterilise baby toys in the steriliser? So, fabulous question, and the answer is yes. Because it's using just light at a certain wavelength and spectrum, you can absolutely put baby toys, small electronic goods, almost any product that can be exposed to sunlight can be placed in here. As I said, I frequently uh, would use, put, pop my cell phone, my mobile phone in there, uh, small electronic toys, cars, uh, I think keys components. are brilliant. Keys are fantastic. I Babies love having keys to get <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so yes, any of those uh, sunglasses, earrings, uh, any of those electrical yeah. components that can fit inside can safely be uh, used. I will add one warning though, because we have the drying function, uh, using the mobile phone and the drying uh, function, I not certainly ideal. would recommend. Uh, that's a good, good call so, out there. Yes, yeah, so certainly if you were going to pop your mobile phone in there just to pass sterilization cycle for three minutes is perfectly sufficient. What type of warranty do the products have? Fabulous question again. Uh, all of our products have a 12 month warranty on them. Uh, so that is, that is standard across all of the, uh, of the products in our range. And it is a replacement warranty. So if, uh, if you bring it back into any of the stores, we've worked very closely with them to have a very good swap out process for any of our products. Yeah. Thanks Mark. Um, and also our beautiful team behind the camera. Thanks for your time and expertise tonight. Much thank appreciated. Um, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight and I hope we were able to assist you in choosing a sterilising method, although I think we're pretty sold by the, by the questions coming through on, on, on the uh, super, superseded awesome one at the end here, 59S. Um, don't forget to add your comments in the comments box to win or, or go in the running for this amazing giveaway bundle here. Um, and don't forget, if, if you have any questions, our beautiful, friendly, very knowledgeable team members out in every store to give you a hand to choose the right method for you. Um, do tune in next week for another episode um, and enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having us.